Hi guys, welcome back to Little Techie. Um, today I'll be showing you how to create a web browser in Visual Studio. So you'll create a new form, it's C Sharp, um, Windows Forms app. And make sure it's a .NET framework. So, um, yeah, that's good. Better. Okay, so first we will be adding, um, okay, so button. Okay, so that's back. Um, forward, refresh, go, print, print preview. Good. Got enough buttons. We'll be adding a text box. Adding a text box. Oh, text box at the bottom. And this will not be having tabs, so that's one disadvantage. Um, text box, good. We'll also be adding a um, web browser, not a Microsoft web browser. Um, the one with the 95 globe icon. No, we'll not be using that. We'll be using the web browser. It comes automatically. Okay, we'll be resizing this a bit, but we'll make it maximized later. So button one will take button one and button two. Make sure they're like that. Make sure it only says B. They're both buttons. And button the first button properties will be named that the second button will be named that and we'll be putting these up here next we'll be putting um a refresh button refresh it will say refresh we're trying to make the buttons as small as we can. Refresh. Okay, good. Refresh. That's small. That's the smallest we can make. That says text box over here. Make this a big like that. Button, button, um, button three will be, um, saying go. Go. I don't know who would want to make a button this big that says just go. So go. We'll minimize that. Okay, good. Go. We'll be selecting, um, no, no, we'll not be doing that. Um, button four will be saying, um, print, so you can print the page. Print, print. and this button, we, for the print and print preview buttons, you don't need, um, to actually, uh, resize them. P, which stands for print preview. We'll be putting our web browser over here. And we'll be resizing the window to make it look like that. We'll be uh, making this size like that. And we'll be adding some code. Nothing will work without code. Um, so that for that, um, another note or reminder um this does not have any tabs easy tabs
Okay, good. We have got our web browser. Um, yeah, this is not. This is. So yeah, I've got a web browser. I'm just not stretching the whole thing. So um, yeah, if we type www.google.com, I'm not gonna do Google. I'm gonna do Bing. Uh, Bing. Dot com. And as you can see, Bing works right here. It works. The Bing works. I'm this scroll bar over here. I'm okay, I think there's no scroll bar, but yeah. So um, yeah, we, Bing works. You can also refresh. Um, this works. Um. And And as you can see, Google Maps will open. See, look, it works. If it shows that message, you can click no or yes. So yeah, um, the print preview, um, you can take a preview, you can print the page, you can see a preview. Home will open home, I think on this server it will open Internet Explorer Enhanced Encryption. So I'm going to show you it again. Then you can hit print P. You'll see a preview um, of it, of the page. Print, you won't see a preview, but you can print it. And then you can just click on print. And next is home. When we click on home, um, it will open Internet Explorer Enhanced Encryption. So yeah, you can rename the form and ch form and change your icon. And um, our next video will be um how to create an installer for this. So um you cannot just throw it out in the website and just put it as an exe file. You need an installer. So it can appear in your start menu. That will be the topic of our next video. And I'll see you next time.